This video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. Welcome to the sixth video of our JUnit plus Spring Boot REST API tutorial where we learn how to write unit tests for our Spring Boot REST API application. In the previous five videos, we had talked about what uh, unit testing is, uh, why is it required for uh, a software development lifecycle and we then talked about what we'll be making which is writing unit tests for our REST API application. Then we moved further on about how to actually create our REST API application. We had created a very simple, very straightforward uh, library management uh, application where we had a book uh, record and we had a book controller which basically did CRUD applications on our uh, book record. And we haven't uh, actually implemented the delete endpoint yet which we will be doing later uh, in the next upcoming videos where we use the TDD, TDD approach the test driven development approach to actually write our delete endpoint for this video uh, we have actually we will be doing and finally implementing our unit tests we will start with our two get endpoint unit tests so we have these two get endpoints get all book records and get book by id we will be writing our unit tests for them and we'll see how that goes. But before that, let's just quickly go through what we have done in the previous video, which was about uh, mocking, mockito, and what does mocking mean? So mocking is basically a way to mock all the external or hide our implementation details for external uh, services for that particular class. So for the book controller, we wanted to mock uh, the results and the values which we put inside the book repository and we only wanted to work or unit test our book controller and especially only these two particular methods for now for this video. So we will be uh, mocking the book repository and only checking if book records and book ID works fine. And for that, let's start writing our tests. So as we have noticed inside our JUnit example test here, we need to have a test annotation on top of our um, method. So let's have a test annotation. Uh, next, we need uh, it to be a method. So let's have public void. And this is going to be get all records. And this is going to be success. So this is going to be a, a test where uh, for a right input, we get the right expected output. So we will be adding up all of this uh, inside our application book uh, records one, two, three. And then we will get back uh, one, two, three as our uh, successful output. So let's do this. Uh, let's quickly say let's throw the exception because it will throw an exception. And let's try implementing it. So first thing which we need to do here is we need to uh, have a list of our book records, right? So we have three book records, but they are you know three different book objects. We need to have a way to have them in a list uh, because a list is what we return here. So we need to have a list of books, right? So first let's create the list of books. So pretty straightforward list book. And this is going to be records it will be a new array list. And inside the array list, uh, we have arrays dot as list. And inside that we can have our records. So we can have record one, record two, and record three. So now we have uh, the records which we uh, have, which should be the intended output we get or the intended uh, return value for our get all book records method. So this should give us out a list and the list is something which we have uh, culminated here. So this is what we expect back from our uh, method if it's rightly implemented. The next thing is to mock our book repository, right? We want to mock and uh, fake our results using uh, the records list. So here what we do is use mockito dot when. So when we do a call to book repositories, find all, then return. So as you can see, it's pretty uh, easy to understand uh, how they work, then return records. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to read that when we call find all, return records and that is what we are doing here. So the get all book records is basically calling book repository to find all and we are mocking this method to get back our records list of books. Now we need to perform uh, uh, 
uh, emulation of the get uh, you know a get request and this is where we use mock mbc uh, which helps us perform that so we uh, make a request builder so this is how it will be looking like so mock mvc request builders uh, dot get and here it is slash book that is the endpoint which we are targeting uh, next we want the content type to be media type application json so we want uh, the content to be a json next uh, is what we need to have inside so here what we do is basically have a request built so we have a request built and now we do and expect so this particular a piece of code will build a, a, rec, a, a get request using a mock and the get request contains two things it contains the uh, endpoint which is slash book and it contains the content type which is going to be in the form of a json now once we uh, make the get request what do we expect back right because we want to know exactly what we are going to expect the first thing that we expect is a status dot is okay so this basically tells us that uh, when we do a get request to get all records here we get a 200 status and everything is okay the next thing to expect is and expect and here we expect uh, let's say that since uh, it is three records we want the size of the return list return list to also be three so how do we do that we do that by mock m v result result matches dot json path and in the json path we have the expression dollar which basically says start uh, check the entire json uh, and check if it has size 3 so this is a very uh, interesting way of writing or checking whether the json is actually you know, the JSON path from the beginning have the size 3. The next thing that we need to check is check a value randomly inside our record. So uh, until here, we know that uh, if the test is running successfully, we will know that we are hitting slash book with the content as JSON. We get back a 200 result. Uh, the result which we get back has three records in it. And one another thing which you can check to make sure that the records are correct is randomly check the value of a record. So we do and expect and here uh, what we can do is we can do json path uh, expression so this is going to be dollar two dot name so go to the third uh, record and get me the name is how this we pass this json and uh, the value here is going to be exactly what we have here so let's copy this and paste it here and put our semicolon and not here sorry my bad we, okay now it's going to be here um, yep looks good so in the last line 64 we tell that we expect uh, the so it's zero index the third object's name to be grokking algorithms because that is what we intend inside our list of books as records so when we uh, run this and if the test passes then we know that get all book record is working perfectly fine and i don't even have to run my application and uh, check it on you know check manually on postman or some other api tool uh, to make sure that it is running properly you know this is completely automated and whenever we run this it will automatically tell us whether the endpoint is working fine or not so let's uh, go ahead and run this test and let's see whether our test passes or not and we will know whether uh, the method that we implemented is a good uh, a correct method or not so now it takes uh, some time a, a couple of seconds for the test to run it is fa faster compared to uh, running a, po a proper you know uh, spring boot application so as you can see it just took us 9 seconds to get the test right uh, it took 9 seconds because it uh, my, my, my laptop is slow and it takes some time to things to actually get up but as you can see inside 
you know the debug info here uh, you can see we do a get with now no parameters that means get all and using application json and uh, we are writing this and you know we get we are evaluating the path uh, the path is okay it is completed 200 okay and this is, this is how we actually uh, understand that we are doing uh, we are simulating or mocking a rest api get request and this is basically how we write our get endpoint and now the next thing which we need to do is do it for get by get book by id but we will do that in the next video. Uh, let me uh, again reiterate on what we had implemented in this video. We had talked about uh, get all records success, which was for this get all book records, and we expect it to be a success, which we did get it. By success, I mean that it should be a 200 status code where uh, the status is okay. I mean, all of this is provided by uh, Hamcrest and you know uh, the testing framework by Spring Boot, so we don't have to worry about. Uh, how to implement it we just uh, focus on the business uh, testing part of it we check whether uh, the json return had three objects uh, record one two three and we also check whether uh, the last record's name was grokking algorithms now uh, you can you don't have to stick to the last one uh, you can have uh, random tests here so you can have another random test for example uh, let me show you another one so we do a control d uh, and here, uh, instead of two, let's do one. And one is going to be thinking fast and slow. And we should get uh, one's value as thinking fast and slow. And now we can run this again and see what happens. This way, you can make sure that every single record which you have uh, returned back is correct and not false. And this is a very good way, a very simple way to check it and we will know that in a second when the tests are running and if the test passes we have implemented a correct get all records if not we uh, screwed something up and as you can see the test has passed so we know that uh, this particular method has been implemented perfectly and we don't have to worry about uh, getting the application up and testing it manually so um, this is it for the first method in the next video we will be talking about uh, get book uh, by id where we uh, write this method and also create book record uh, a little bit of it and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video